the police station, a vital part of any city, but this is one of the buildings that it is the hardest to design for because it's actually a very, very bland building. So let's go and get inspired by our friends and create our own design. So let's get creating. So this is the police station. It is about as generic a building as you can get. No labels, no uh, police sign, no big flashing lights, um, and apart from the bars on the windows, um, no real clue at all that this is um, something to do with the police. And the danger with this building is, is if you just put it in a line of other buildings or even other line of shops, that it basically just completely loses its individuality and the fact that, of course, that it is a police station. And a police station is important. Any city building game, or uh, well, every city building game that I know of, has police stations in them. If you get build a big city, you get crime. If you've got crime, you need a police station. Um, if you've got a police station, you can defeat the crime. So it is an essential part, but we're going to have to do something quite unique um, to uh, get this police station looking good. So let's see what other people have done. Now, a good place to start is going to be, in quotes, Other Springfield, because if you didn't know, when we had the recent update uh, for the Squidport, um, Other Springfield was taken up to level 30, and uh, one of the game's designers has clearly been busy because they've included a lot of the later buildings. Now, this police station by itself has just basically been added a couple of flowers and a bush and things like that. It looks very nice. But what does really work nicely here is the placement in regards to being near the prison and, of course, course um, the key decoration being the police car now unfortunately the police car is a premium decoration so um, if you want to have the police car as part of your design for your police station you're going to have to fork out for some donuts but if in my previous video when I talked about cars um, it is a good uh, decoration and it's also good value for money in, re in regards to the XP so if you do have the donuts and you are designing a police station I would recommend um, you get yourself at least one now this is a nice design by uh, Show Rob that uh, makes shows that the police station is kind of part of the local community. We've got the uh, the the the, the lamppost there, the the double phone boxes, which kind of show that this is a, a community place. The stop signs work really nicely as a kind of um, authority signal that this is a point of no return. And I do like the cheeky addition of the donuts uh, vans uh, near near to the police station as well. Um, and of course the police cars there again make a, a very nice addition. And I think do think. That this particular design does make the building seem a little bit special. Now, Beast Chris has clearly taken uh, the police car idea to heart and the car park idea um, and and um, steel railings because, of course, the police station is going to be something which is going to have criminals. So it, fencing it off in some way is going to be a nice way of uh, showing the authority of this particular zone. If it's just big and open, uh, then it um, just looks like another building. But give it some give it some big fencing, especially the steel fencing, and it starts to look more important. So that's a nice design idea that we could think about incorporating into our own over to Mel Designers City um, and again we've got that cop car but I do like the inclusion of um, the red wall uh, which I, again gives it that nice fenced off um, idea with the iron railings actually a combination of fencing is good and the graffiti looks nice as well because um, in a kind of anti-authority uh, state it could be like a you know a screw you copper uh, type type graffiti but I also really really like um, the the the, uh, the the fake Batman single that was uh, symbol the Mr. Burns uh, bat style signal and sadly that's a limited item which I haven't got but if this was a real police station and they wanted to summon a superhero it would be out the back door of the uh, police station. So if you've got one, I think it would be a brilliant idea. Nuclear Videos HD has continued to make the uh, cop car a feature, but when in that interview I did with him yesterday, and I do hope you, you caught that uh, um, episode, he was saying about how important um, the entrance way to um, various buildings are and how he often starts with trying to make the entrance to these places look as important as possible. So he's really succeeded here with this uh, lovely little kind of drive-through pick-up put-down place, which of course a police car would use, and that fountain uh, really increases the importance of the building as well. Again, we've got a bit of kind of uh, chain-link fences separating things off, and the, the hazard um, uh, bars there as well are a very kind of police-like authoritarian um, device. And then we've just got some kind of generic plants around the front, but they're good-looking, it makes the building look important, which is of course what we are aiming for. 
So what am I going to do with my police station after being inspired by all of those great cities and Springfields there? Well, first thing is I'm going to put my police station right next to my jail. I think that is a really nice uh, kind of combination of, of um, policing and punishment together. And I'm also going to put my, my, my police station almost as like the gateway to the jail. So you've got to go past the police station to kind of get to the jail, which I think then again emphasizes uh, what this building is for. The police station the, the jail itself I haven't finished decorating I'm going to do something with the water and, and fencing and things like that but you, but you can get the general idea of what's going to, going to happen to it um, I purchased a couple of police cars and stuck them in front I loved the idea of the, uh, the, the phone boxes the kind of community centre idea so they went in as well um, I used a stop sign and a couple of hazard signs here to kind of stop any kind of traffic getting down towards the side of the police station and the um, and the jail. I thought that that was quite effective. And I snuck the donuts um, round round the back. I thought it was funny. Um, but also by having that little that little plant division, it's a little bit unclear about whether the donuts are there for the road or whether they're for the police station. But we all know it's there for the police station. Um, a lamppost as well, just to kind of put something in that bottom right hand corner. And I'm actually quite pleased with how that has turned out. Um, it's still a fairly plain building, but I don't think there's... Oh, those lights go off. I didn't know they did that. That's cool. Um, <laughs> but I think it's quite clear now uh, what this building is, and um, it now looks like a nice part of my Springfield. Um, if you've got any uh, good designs um, for buildings that um, you'd like to show me, do get in contact in the, uh, the comments section. Um, I need to do something with my Gilded Truffle with my Springfield Downs, with my Fort Sensible, uh, with my Luigi's. Um, I don't just want to see designs where you've just kind of plonked it with roads around it. I want to find designs that are a little bit unique that I can, that I can feature. So if you think you've got something just a little bit special, a little bit different um, with any of those buildings, then uh, do get in touch and um, I'll go and have a look. Um, thanks very much for watching. Do uh, like the video if you have enjoyed it and please subscribe um, to see all the latest Simpsons tapped out videos, let's plays, tutorials and random stuff from the world of the Adipose. Uh, take care and I will see you soon. Bye bye.